Good morning, Internet. Fancy seeing you guys here. We are now in Camden. Honestly, this is the most frustrating part of work for. Just trying to find a bus. Otherwise, you just look like a lost child. They all look the same. I have no idea where the bus is. And I'm gonna probably say that a million times on these vlogs for a wolf vlog. Frankie and I have the same addiction. You still hiding well, your face? face? I'm blur face. Frankie's blur face. We can't show Frankie's face. So when he's bored, he comes here and just looks at gadgets just like I do. I think your face isn't blurred now. <laughs> you can blur in post. <laughs> do, do I want to? <laughs> no, no. It's so much work. Dude, look at this lens cleaner. For GoPro. I just got one. Thanks to Dunk Johnson. Hashtag Dunk Johnson. I love Dunk Johnson? Johnson. So look at who it is! Kate and I are gonna go paddleboarding today. And I'm excited. And Tom's gonna sit at home and hang out with the cats. I'm <laughs> But yeah, we figured why not? It's kind of overcast and kind of gross out. And I feel like it's the perfect time. So every day on Warp Tour, we're gonna have a personal Polaroid. Today's Camden right here, we had Trav. And we all signed it on the back. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it at the merch table every day with J-Val. If you're the first person to get it, you'll be the only person to get it because it's gonna be one of a kind. We're only gonna do one of these in every single city. Huh? The most beautiful part about playing in Camden is if you go one direction, you can see the harbor, which is a nice, beautiful scene. You can see all the giant, look, there's the battleship right there. So guys, I was thinking about getting a boat in Surprising Alley, and this one was actually for sale, so I thought, you know, what the hell? It's funny to see the contrast. That's like an old school boat. I don't think it's a war boat, but if you go over here, obviously this is a war boat. Modern, not so modern. I always forget the little things that are actually in the, uh, the parks that we're at, because sometimes I always say, you know, there's only just like a parking lot. But sometimes if you venture off, and I remember venturing off the last couple years, I always find out like kind of a cool stuff. Take out the boat? Yeah. Nah, just kidding. We're gonna take out these bad boys. I'm walking past them. I know, Kellen, get it together. I mean, it looks a little crazy out, but we have no fear of that weather. All right, what do you want me to grab? Well, I'll be
Kings right now, and this is Kate, and she has one of my favorite sayings on her body. Seize the day. She suffers, or suffered. Yeah, she suffered from seizures. And she has that saying on her body, and I had to show you guys. I thought it was cool. Awesome, Kate. Keep it up. I had to show you guys because I thought it was the coolest thing, and she got the humor. So. which was like two and a half hours and then I got like super dizzy. So Frankie just kind of walked me in here and I'm just in the wrong because it's taking a nap. Coley just emptied everything out. So I'm gonna take a quick nap and try and hope this makes everything better because right now I see like two of everything. I see two cameras. It sucks, I hate this stuff so bad. Um, then I gotta go on stage in less than 45 minutes. So I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna see you guys on stage. Craig's got to make them all lubed up. Lube me up. All up Craig. That, way, that Craig. way it shines when I put my hands in the air. You know, like a makeup artist. <laughs> <laughs> Danny refuses to walk like the rest of the human being before. Obviously you can see I'm walking around right now. <sighs> to be completely honest, I feel like complete crap. But, show must go on. I was trying to walk through and he was like grabbing me. I was like walking all over. Like, I haven't been drunk in years, but it felt like I was drunk. So we're about to go on stage and I'm barely able to walk a straight line. Every time. I say this all the time. I don't know what it is about this stuff. And I think maybe because I kind of overdid myself a little bit today, I think I gotta relax a little bit more. But I already talked to Trav. And I told him that I might kind of just wander off stage a little bit. And if I do, not to be concerned, because that's what I'm gonna do. Just to make sure I don't fall off the stage, because doing the amphitheater is so freaking like, tall. But. I don't care, I'm gonna go on stage, I don't care. I'm gonna do it. At the same time though, it's, it's scary because this, this, I don't like how this medication makes me feel. And I already talked to my doctor several times about the situation. And uh, they're trying to get me off. Cause Dilantin is like literally one of the oldest like drugs. It's like invented in the 50s or 60s. So it should not be on the market anymore. <laughs> I feel like they should have something new, but I think the problem is like when you mix something new and old together, and you have the craziness that is my life, the uniqueness that is my life, I should say, it kind of makes it a little bit like more troublesome. Not troublesome. That's that's a terrible word. Unique. That's the word I, sh I should be looking for. But at any rate, we're going on stage, guys. The show must go on. I love Warp Tour. I love performing. I love you guys. So I'll see you guys after the show. We're good. Hopefully I don't break a leg. If I okay, here's the thing. If I break a leg, literally in the sense that I actually break a leg, I only hope that I get Dave Grohl's like thrown. That would be the greatest thing in the world, actually. Alright, let's do it.
started feeling really weird. Actually, I don't know if you guys noticed. Oh, wow, that hurt. First part of the show, I was feeling really weird. And then towards the end, I started feeling good. And I was running all over the place, as you guys got to see. The glasses came off. I was trying to hide my face because I looked like a raccoon. I kind of feel like kind of a baby earlier. Earlier today, like I was saying, that I was having an issue with the whole medication. I think it's because I did eat. I just didn't eat, I think, right away. And I exercised, as you guys got to see. And, or not got to see, you guys saw. Yeah, you guys got to see, you got the privilege of seeing me exercise. No, you saw me exercise. And um, I think because of the heat and everything, I think I overdid myself because then we did the signing, which was two hours, I think. I don't know if you guys can tell without me telling you right now if there was anything wrong, because you probably can. I'm pretty good at faking it on stage. Like, not faking it on stage, that's a terrible thing. I'm pretty good at having fun on stage, so, so it's pretty hard for people to know if I'm not having fun on stage because I want to say like 90% of the time I'm having fun on stage. There's very, very few times that I'm not. But what I was saying was at the beginning of the set, I kind of felt like I was going to fall off the stage or fall somewhere. Like, kind of, you know, I was running around between the uh, the risers and Danny's drum stage. And I go back and forth and there's cables. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of hard to see. Go to a show, you can see there's always cables running around the stage. And I'm always pretty good at skipping over them. That's usually why I'm skipping around like a freaking rabbit. Today, I kind of was a little nervous about doing that because I thought I was gonna skip and just fall face to the face plan. It would've been great for a viral video. At any rate, all I'm trying to say is that I had a really bad day at the beginning. I shouldn't say bad day. I had a really bad couple hours. And then got on stage, you know, show must go on. I always believe thoroughly that the show must go on. This is my favorite outfit Travis ever wears. Looks like he's fucking going to the Catalina wine mixer. Uh, that's smart. Right? Sell some helicopters. Um, Danny said we should put helicopters right here. Did they do something to offend you? No, I think it's the greatest outfit in the world. But do you? Such a, I, if you guys have noticed from the vlogs, I changed my style weekly. <laughs> right now, I do fancy. I don't know the helicopter. Like I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying it reminds me. It sounds me. a lot like you're knocking it. <laughs> Maybe he's supposed to help you with I'm your... your friend. You're my best man, and I'm just saying I appreciate your style. I had to. I had to break that out. You're gonna be able to use that until you actually get married. Yeah. It's like pregnancy. It's like. Guys, it's like they poke my head. Um, I, my daughter's tired. I gotta leave. You guys be like, yeah, I really can't argue. <laughs> Everything's so peaceful and so quiet right now. I'm able to like, kind of just walk around and see her. I'm gonna go call Allie on FaceTime. I get to see her beautiful face. So I just gotta find a place where the stupid semi is not gonna run me over this time. All I gotta say is technology. I don't know how I'd be able to do all this touring stuff without being able to see her goofy face and her stupid croissant on her head every single night. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great night. Say good night. Bye. Good night, guys. He will go find a truck. Doesn't matter. Maybe a Spanish truck, and make them find go get lemons to make him lemonade. He's that persuasive. Look at that. He's already working.